Good morning, folks. Space weather update, Sunday, April 10th. Interesting developments overnight. A stealth G3 geomagnetic storm came out of nowhere. We were watching it happen, but I had to go to sleep, so we're reporting on it this morning. Now, the strong G3 geomagnetic storm was observed due to an enhanced solar wind stream that we were all well aware was coming. It was a large coronal hole stream. When it arrived, it contained a period of southward BZ, and we'll show you that in a minute. Now, auroras were visible everywhere in the northern tier states of the U.S., Massachusetts, North Dakota, and we'll get to some of that footage. But what's amazing is the G3 geomagnetic storm from simply a coronal hole stream. Now, we've had another similar storm like this about a half a year back when a coronal hole stream popped KP7. And the same thing happened here. So you can see the coronal hole stream arrive. That's this increase in density. And then the solar wind speed increases up to about 500 kilometers, 550. But it's this change in the BZ here that, that kicked off the geomagnetic storm. The quick shift south. And it lasted for about six hours. And that was the length of the geomagnetic storm. G3, KP7, down to G1, KP5. Now, the magnetometer also made massive 100-plus nanotesla shifts during this time frame, which set off the auroras. And the first shot we're going to be looking at is from Deering, North Dakota, where they had the vertical picket fence aurora Quite spectacular. And we have a video here. <laughs> Look behind you. Wow. Oh, color. Look. <laughs> That's pretty fantastic. And let's take a look at... Uh, some shots from Mount Washington. This photo from atop Mount Washington, that's the Milky Way galaxy rising above the valley last night. The clear skies after the storm making it pretty easy to spot actually, Jacob. And some people even reported seeing the northern lights as far south as Massachusetts. Yeah, incredible shot here uh, that I have of uh, some northern lights in Baldwinville. Uh, that's in Templeton in Worcester County. This is what they were able to see, and we had this geomagnetic mm. storm that made its way into uh, parts of the lower latitudes, so we were able to... I'm going to step out of the way. This was sent to me by Colton Flint in Baldwinville. Uh, you see the northern lights there, the pinks and the greens, uh, just really vivid. It takes the... Absolutely spectacular. Certainly a boom. Now, what's the significance of all this? Well, it's, it's pretty clear that... It's a sign of the times, the waning magnetosphere, all the warnings that we've been giving to prepare. It's coming. It might not be coming tomorrow. It might not be coming this year. But the changes in the magnetosphere are real. We have northern lights in the northern states, not from a coronal mass ejection, from a simple coronal hole stream. And that little shift in the BZ, that's all it took to send everything into geomagnetic storm. So when a big CME is coming, and the magnetic field is just right, there'll be no more YouTube. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. What are you growing? Be safe. We love you. Subscribe. Comment below. Become a Patreon. Support our work. We love you. Mm -hmm.